Hello, Adam Rayner reporting for Talk Audio TV. I'm here today again with Alan Smith from... Clarion. <laughs> you did forget to mention that last time, didn't we you? We did indeed. That... Yeah. Yes. That's get, a... to get the message across loud and clear this time. Clarion, biggest car audio manufacturer in the world, 70 years old this year. Dude. Wow. Looking well don't on look it. Don't look it, do I? <laughs> <laughs> Sorry, make that camera shake. Me. So tell us what we're looking at today, Mr Smith. We've got the VX401E, which uh -huh. is our brand new source unit. AV with um, Bluetooth. Um, I gather it's entry level. It is. Meaning yes. that it's 450 yeah. quid as against 450 the. 450 yeah. 999, the 700 I'm just sort of uh, finishing that's, playing that's with in, correct, indoors. Yeah. Yeah. Um, uh, just so the camera can see it, show us the remote in the. Uh, right. That's a bit of a beast compared to some little card, isn't it? It's fired up the machine. It's going to slip down the back of the seat easily. Cool. So um, show us what this thing can do. I guess um, yeah. let's. Uh, Stuff a DVD and it's more for one. Hang on, Ooh, let's just get that camera in position there. Uh, here we go, cars. Oh, I love this yeah. film. Um, so slot on the front rather than expensive motorised face thing. So that's a that's huge right. saving. Yes, indeed. Um, and yet the screen's six point six point eight. That's that's good and big. Yeah, it's good and big. Mm. There's the magic word clarion on there. So um, tell us what she can do. Okay, I've got the DVD loaded. Yep. We've got on the side here. We've got um, up and down volume controls. Yeah. Um, an auxiliary in on the bottom there and uh -huh. we, we actually get a lead with a um, three RCAs on it to uh, plug into the auxiliary in. Oh cool, so what the, that, that, let me just have a little play that. You press that yep. and hit enter for the uh, choosing English on the DVD. Indeed. Dude, there's a warning. Mm -hmm. um, so that little round, is that a 3.5 millimeter jack, tip ring, sleeve or, well That's loads right. if it's yeah. AV. <clears throat> yeah. Gosh, it must have lots of little rings of metal around it. Good stuff. Yeah. Special lead and that comes with the machine, yeah? It does. Cool, so no extra cast involved there. <laughs> And um, there it is, of course, across the middle of the screen. You can um, you can fill that up, zoom it in, you can. Or zoom it out, yes, I should yes, say. The, uh... the remote control. We can zoom in if I can see without my glasses. Yes. <laughs> <laughs> Vanity are. should Max have. Uh, zoom, yes. yes. <laughs> That's yeah. a really crisp picture. It actually looks really good on the uh, on the video recording I'm making here, which is nice. Oh, Jeez, oh, find a rat in your breakfast. <laughs> um, and does this machine have navigation on it, or is it... Uh... You can't put navigation with this one, no, it's right. an entry level, but we do sell portable navigation products. Oh, well, I well, the uh, 790, which was... Uh, I remember actually referring to the SIF3 navigation engine, in, which is getting tweaky, but that's what I'm for. Oh, yeah. um, I told one of the other major manufacturers, product managers, about the engine you put in your portable, and he made a noise that sounded like despair. <laughs> <laughs> we won't name him! Oh dear mm. God! But um, so show us show us some of the GUI. I'd love to watch the movie, but um, let's yeah. let's come out of the movie and show us uh, okay. some of the um, some of the graphics. We'll oh, look at that! Touch the screen and we go back to the main menu. Uh huh. Let's get a little bit closer. Lovely. Yeah. So then we can change the tuner. Uh huh. We've got auxiliary in, AV in. Yes. The front panel there. iPod, Bluetooth, camera, and there's the main settings control. So tell me about the iPod. Can you um, run video through it as well? You can. There's, there's, um, the iPod will run through the USB that's built in. Right. So it's on the back. There's a one meter lead. And it's, it's the same one I've been using, same lead I'm using for the... Uh, as with the NX700, yeah. yeah. Righty-ho. Yeah. Oh, you lost me. Lost my window of opportunity there. Oh, it's, uh, go back. It'll uh, <laughs> obviously go back to what you're doing if you don't actually ask yeah. it to it. So... Uh, there's the iPod. Um, a separate lead, yeah. If you want the yes. iPod video, there's a separate lead. It costs gotcha. about um, oh, 46 quid, about. isn't it? Yeah, indeed. <laughs> Are you experienced? <laughs> this is every bit as uh, showing your generation as having oh, Radio 4 on the tuner, dude. <laughs> I love it. Uh, yeah. Jimmy doing his thing. That is so cool. Happy days. Yes. Oh, bless. <laughs> it's the music of your generation. So, 450 quid, mm. the Clarion VX401E. Um, so, uh, a hell of a piece of kit from what I can work out. I think in the fatness and fullness we're going to have a go on it. Um, you said there's also a single DIN motorised screen one as well, yes? And that's, that's right. We call that one the VZ401E. Uh -huh. It's a wonderful way they... <laughs> yes, the, uh, <laughs> they well, the lettering and so forth. That towards them with us. Yeah. They don't give them names like Pete, do they? But, well, uh, I think of the Z as like a sort of snaky thing coming with a, with a motorised monitor going out and up. Yes. And and it's still true, the motorised monitors, the ones that come out of the dash and then sort of flip back, they, they yeah. still look like something out of James Bond and people still love them. Oh, but love uh, them. Yeah. in the meanwhile, affordable uh, multimedia goodness from Clarion. Um, yeah. Thanks ever so much, Alan. Pleasure.